So basically, I have enabled PC controls. It's basically an unlimited skill hack. Limited likes on the video. It's -a me, Game Tracker. And today I'm gonna show you one of the most overlooked and most powerful game cheating tools for Android and iOS mobile games, and that is the use of emulators to enable one of the most powerful and most overlooked game cheats, which is to use PC controls in Android and iOS games. As always, all the links will be down in the description below. Leave a like while you're there and subscribe for weekly game jacking content. So without any further ado, this is probably one of the most overlooked and most powerful game cheats out there for Android and iOS. It is to use, of course, PC controls through the use of emulation, your Android and iOS emulators out there, most of which will allow you to actually use your mouse and your keyboard in order to cheat in your favorite Android games by using a control scheme that is arguably far superior. Of course, that's just my point of view. I've grown up playing PC games, so I'm very good at using PC controls. Of course, I still suck, but I'm far better at using a mouse and keyboard than using my phone. So before I show you how to do this, I'm just going to demonstrate how it works. So this is, of course, my Android emulator. This is Nox App Player for Android emulation, but this will work for most emulators out there for Android and iOS. So let me just start a game and show you how this works. As you can see, I can use my mouse. I'm just doing this one-handed in order to aim my gun. I can shoot using my mouse button right here. I can also walk using WASD as you can see in the bottom left corner right there. I'm just gonna shoot this guy. So he leaves me alone doing my tutorial right here. So this is using mouse and keyboard controls in an Android game in action. So I can just use my mouse and of course there's still aim assist that we have in these kinds of games. I also have mapped, for example, my grenades to the letter G, which is standard for PC games. And this can all be done using any kind of emulator out there, like any emulator worth its salt that's not absolutely bad will allow you to do this. And in this case, I can switch between aiming with my mouse and using the mouse as intended. So I can switch, uh, I can shoot manually using the mouse and then switch to aiming by my mouse using just one simple hotkey that I can configure as well. I can also heal using H. I can, uh, what is that? Is that melee? V, oh no, that's jumping. So V is my jump, as you can see right there. Then G is my grenades. I can shoot using the mouse uh, button number one, of course, as is usual in PC games as well. So basically, I have enabled PC controls in an Android game, which is, of course, extremely powerful to use PC controls in an Android or iOS game on mobile, using your mouse, using your keyboard, extremely overpowered. And of course, the developers of these games have thought of that, which is why many, especially online shooters, will actually ban emulator players from playing their games. So you will need a bypass mod in order to do this for a lot of online games, but it still works in a lot of them. Let's get into how to do this. Of course, you're going to need an emulator for your Android or iOS device. I am personally using Android and I'm using Nox emulator in order to do this as it is, in my opinion, the best one out there. However, stuff like Bluestacks will work just fine or Mimu as well. They all offer this kind of functionality as well. They will usually have a button that allows you to customize your controls. As you can see right here, I can enable a D-pad. So that's the thing that allows me to use W, A, S, and D in order to walk. Then the shooting mode allows me to use my mouse using this hotkey right here. I can enable the shooting mode so I can just move my mouse to aim and I can also disable it. I can also configure how much mouse sensitivity I want. So for example, four, I can even configure X and Y axis sensitivity. Then there's also, of course, the auto fire button, which I can move around as well. And then there's also single hotkeys that I can configure to do basically anything. So you can just drag and drop these wherever you want them to be. So if I just go back into the game, I'm just gonna save this setting, these settings. I go back into the game, so I go to resume. And as you can see, here are my grenades. So what I would do to configure a hotkey for grenades, let's just pretend I don't have this one. I just go for a keyboard shortcut. I move it to wherever I want it. So I'm just gonna drag this to my grenades. 
I'm going to configure it. I'm going to go for G because that's the standard um, button for throwing grenades in PC games. And that's basically it. You can also do this with a G sensor. So the thing that where you move your phone and it, it moves you, for example, Temple Run uses that as far as I know. You can also do that. You can map that to your W, A, S, and D to your mouse keys, to your whatever you want. Anything is basically possible. And in 95% of games, PC controls will simply be superior to the normal, um, normal mobile controls. There's of course uh, niche games where that's not the case. So I've played a certain, um, for example, helicopter simulator where I had to notice that actually using PC controls didn't help me at all. So there is going to be exceptions to the usefulness of this kind of procedure. But in general, uh, PC controls will just simply be superior in every way. As you can see right here, I could just basically waltz through this game. And of course, the great thing about this is as well, in shooters especially, you still have the aim assist that you expect from um, Android and iOS mobile shooters as well. So you can just uh, go around so I can crouch, I can I can jump using V. Actually, I should probably um, <laughs> map the, the jump to my space bar, but whatever. I'm using V to jump at this point. I can jump, I can trick shot, I can, I can 360 no scope. Boop, there you go, you're dead. <laughs> and of course, um, the snap to target aim assist is still active as you would expect from any uh, mobile shooter because of course, aiming on mobile is hard, except if you're doing this, it's very easy because you're using PC controls. So it's trivial at that point. Extremely overpowered, extremely powerful. It's basically an unlimited skill hack. Unlimited likes on the video as well. And it's extremely easy to set up on any emulator out there that is even slightly PC focused. And of course, there's also advanced stuff that you can do. I'm just going to pause the game right here. There's also scripts that you can do. So there is a script function here as well, where you can basically tell, you can make a micro bot. So for example, to switch your weapons or to go into your inventory and do something really quick, you can just... Um, create a custom script. So for example, that goes into your menu, changes something, and then goes back out of the menu while other players have to do that manually using their fingers. You can just simply hit one key on your keyboard. It's, uh, the, the emulator is going to do everything for you, execute the script, the macro, and you're done. So it's like having insane skills especially on mobile. So this is one of the most overpowered cheats out there that nobody knows about for Android and iOS. Requires no root whatsoever. All you need is to simply download an emulator. Download links is always in the description below. And since of course most of the popular online shooters especially will ban emulator players from playing the game, you're going to need a bypass mod. And of course the way to find bypass mods is going to be the same thing you do for finding any online game cheats just google game hacks or hackerbot go to hackerbot.net go to game hacks go to our hack finder tool enter the name of your game and enter emulator bypass mod or whatever you want for android or ios and you will find emulator bypass strategies mods scripts that will allow you to run your favorite shooters especially on emulators, making it possible to control them with PC controls, giving you essentially unlimited skills by using mouse and keyboard, which is going to make you automatically like the top 1% skill wise in any shooter. Of course, it also works on other skill based games where you need extreme reaction times. Again, 95% of games, it will make easier on 5% of games, you are better off using the default Android and iOS mobile controls. I will of course add this strategy to our Android and iOS game hacking guides. Just Google HackerBot again, uh, go to Google, Google game hacks, go to hackerbot.net and go to our Android and iOS game jacking guides in order to get those. It's one of the very advanced strategies, one of the most powerful ones out there, very overlooked, very underhyped. Not a lot of people are looking for this, but it's one of the most powerful cheats out there for mobile games and online games, which are extremely hard to cheat in because you can't get unlimited money. Again, um, unlimited money only works on offline games as online games store that kind of stuff. 
on the online servers. However, this kind of cheat using PC controls works on offline games, online games, anything whatsoever, and will help you 95% of the time. So it's insane and you should definitely check it out. Again, as always, all the links in the description down below. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for weekly game tracking content. Let me know down below in the comments if you found any games where this is useful. And I'll see you guys next time. Game Tracker out.